Well, June is Pride Month, and today CTV News has learned the federal government will be providing funding to Pride organizations across the country for increased security at Pride parades and festivities. CTV's Rachel Aiello is standing by with the details for us this morning. Rachel, what are you learning about this funding? Good morning, Marcia. So later today, Minister Marcy Ian is going to be making this announcement. It's going to be $1.5 million for pride organizations across Canada to be allocated based on their size. And this is coming from a request from Fierte Pride Canada, who said, in light of the increased hate, violence, and threats facing the LGBTQ2S plus community, there is an increased cost for security this year. So they are seeing increased premiums for insurance, for example, having to hire more private security, barricades, safety vests for their volunteers. So they made this request to the federal government, and we are going to be hearing today that they will be granting this $1.5 million one-time uh, funding announcement. So what prompted this? So this comes amid, as we've been covering for some time, a rise in uh, anti-LGBTQ hate against Canadians, and we're seeing this across the world, really, Marcia. But for example, in Canada, we've seen drag brunches protested, uh, some of them having to have interactions with police, uh, other protests at Pride events. And so this is coming as these organizers are heading into this Pride season, wanting to make sure that Canadians can come and gather at these Pride parades, festivals, and other events safely. And in order to do so, they say they want to be able to train their staff staff. Uh, they want to put forward emergency planning. And some of this, Marcia, the funding, it's going to be broken down depending on the size of the pride. So big cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal are expected to have a larger chunk of this pot of money. And then other small organizations are going to have a little bit less. But really, Marcia, some of these smaller groups are saying that for the first time ever heading into this pride season, they are going to have to hire private security or have additional safety measures in place that they haven't before. Uh, so they're coming to this with this increased cost and this is where this money is going to go. Rachel, thank you for bringing us those details. Appreciate it. Rachel Aiello in Thanks. Ottawa.